there. I don't know about for you when you might be watching this, but for me, today is Friday. Yay, Friday. I have a great recipe to share with you. It's really, I mean, it is a recipe. It's kind of a fun thing that we're gonna do. And this is really fun, no matter if you're cooking for two, maybe you have company coming or you have your grandbabies coming. It is a baked potato bar. This one, of course, if you follow me very long, you know I like to add little twists to stuff. And the twist for tonight is, for our baked potato bar, is we're going to have a loaded fajita chicken fiesta. Yes, it's going to have a Mexican theme and all of those good, delicious, fresh, Mexican flavors. You sure want to stay to the end of this video because I'm going to be showing you how to do your uh, chicken and your veggies in the oven really quick and easy. Also, I'm going to be sharing with you some guacamole, some fresh salsa. We've got some cheese sauce. Before I get started, I did want to take the time to just say thank you so much for watching. Head over to my website, cookitfor2.com. That's cookitfortwo.com. You can look at my blog there. You'll be able to find all of my recipes, my very first cookbook there. Um, so there's all kinds of good stuff. Head over there and also go to YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and make sure you hit that little bell so every time I put out a new video, you're not going to miss it. You can also find me on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and TikTok. All those places, it's kind of hard to keep it all straight, but it's great. So be sure, like, comment, share, give me some feedback. Let me know if you like the videos. If you don't like the videos, just kind of be nice about it. Okay, let's get started with our bar, but I do want to say this. I've been thinking about some ways and some different recipes, some ways I could change up my, some of my recipes to where they'll be a little bit more budget friendly, maybe stretch a little bit farther. Even just for two, when you cook a meal, you want to be able to get two or three out of that one time that you're cooking and that one bunch of ingredients. And that's very easy to do. It just takes a little bit of planning, a little bit of thinking. And so tonight, this recipe that I'm sharing with you the baked potato bar this is really a good idea because you'll see the potatoes that I bought they're pretty good size and I have three and it was like two dollars and seventy four cents now I'm not going to quote a bunch of prices to you because everybody is different it depends on where you shop um, you know as far as pricing but I am going to tell you that the meal that I'm doing today it is definitely a budget-friendly meal um, because it's going to be full of vegetables, which fresh vegetables are cheap, really and truly. I mean, everything is more expensive nowadays, but even in that, they are very inexpensive to use, to eat fresh, to cook them. I am using some chicken, but I have some chicken tenders because, you know, we didn't need the big breasts. And if you'll keep an eye out on your chicken in the grocery store, you know, a lot of times they'll have different cuts on sale. Just buy what's on sale and you can always adjust your recipe with whatever type of chicken that you have. Or, you know what, this meal would be great with no meat. This is going to be so full of goodness. If you're really wanting to cut back, leave that meat off and just stock up. Up on the veggies and this uh, oh my gosh guacamole um, that I'm gonna make just a few tips to let you know that I am thinking about it sometimes chicken can be a little bit more expensive I guess than maybe turkey or if you find beef on sale whatever it is this is what's great about this potato bar there's a million and one ways that you can do this you can do it with chili and do beef you know with cheese or no beef um, you can do like we're doing the fiesta what we're doing tonight You can just do a plain baked potato bar like with cheddar cheese and sour cream and whatever toppings You know green onions, maybe some bacon whatever toppings that you like Again, this is something that you can splurge on or you can keep it very very small and very cost-effective So let's quit talking and get started cooking so the first thing that we're going to start with today is we're going to get our chicken ready. Like I said, I have some chicken tenders. I've already rinsed them off and patted them dry. And now I'm going to go ahead and start with my olive oil. 
and my seasonings, I'm going to drizzle my chicken tenders with a little bit of olive oil. Okay, we've got some olive oil on there. Now I'm going to do a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, some salt and pepper. And you might think, wow, you're really putting a lot of seasoning, but you want to do that because that's the worst thing. Like when you, especially a theme like we have the fajita theme going on, you definitely want to know that you're eating fajita meat whenever you put this on your potato. So I've got some garlic powder here. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some garlic powder. Pretty good bit there. And the last thing that I'm going to put on is my homemade fajita seasoning. Um, it's just, you know, like coriander, cumin, cayenne pepper, um, chili powder. It's just spices like that, you know, that are uh, what you usually will find in Mexican dishes. And I just make it up myself. And I'm going to put this on very liberally because, like I said, we definitely want to know we're eating fajita chicken. And also, I will put some of this seasoning in with our vegetables that we're going to be cooking. So that same flavor is throughout everything that we're going to be putting on our potatoes. Okay, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on our pan. I'm not going to do both sides. I have enough seasoning on here. I think it'll be fine, uh, but you feel free to if you want to turn this chicken over when you put it on the pan and then just do the same thing again on the other side. You go right ahead, um, but this already is smelling so good, and these chicken tenders are really perfect for this fajita meat. All right, so we've got that ready. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on to my vegetables. The first thing that I'm starting with is a red pepper. Now you can use whichever color pepper you like. You could use more than one pepper if you want. Um, I'm just gonna do the one red pepper and I'm just gonna cut it into strips. Like I said, we want this to be like fajitas. So we're just gonna cut our peppers into strips Throw those on there. Get that out of there. I think I'm throwing seeds everywhere. That's okay though. Okay, we'll get this one sliced up again. But you know, if you wanna use the green, the yellow, the orange, um, depending on maybe how much leftovers you want, if, you know, you can add another pepper or two in. I'm going to do, like I said, just the one. I'm going to chop up or slice up some mushrooms. And I always just like to take that little tip off. I've already wiped these clean, so they are ready to go. And I'm going to do my mushrooms a little bit thicker because it they're going to cook really quick. So they get done in time with the rest of the veggies on here. I'm going to go ahead and slice them just a little bit thicker so it'll take them a little bit longer to cook. But they'll still be nice and tender when the peppers and the onion are ready. And that's another thing that I love about this meal is it's so easy because we are gonna put everything in the oven. We bake the potatoes in the oven. Now I'm gonna put the chicken and the veggies in the oven. This might not be something you want to do right in the middle of summer. You might not want to heat your kitchen up for that long, but um, definitely a good meal to have in your recipe box. All right, let's put this in here. Now, the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, slice up an onion. Let's get this peel off of it first. I'm going to do mine in slices, um, like I did the peppers, staying with the fajita theme, but of course, you know, you can do it any way you like. Okay, those onion peels did not want to let go. It's 
it's another thing I love about this recipe is that it's very easy. It's all just easy. Slice, slice, slice. Okay. Put our onion over here on our pan with our other veggies. This is also so pretty. So colorful. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the whole onion. I've had my oven preheating to 350, so I'm gonna put our veggies and our chicken at the same time in the oven. Just watch them, because they're probably gonna get done at different times. Keep an eye on them. Your chicken's probably gonna take you about 20 to 25 minutes. Those tenders are really thin and small. Um, and then your veggies, you know, just until they're as tender as you like them. And I would say within 30 minutes, you should be good. I'm going to put those in there. And then while those are roasting away and just putting this wonderful aroma all in the kitchen, I'm going to make some guacamole. Okay, I know there's a million different ways to make guacamole. So all I can say here is your kitchen, you make it the way that you like it. We are pretty simple with guacamole. We don't like a whole bunch of stuff in it. So that's how I'm going to make it in my kitchen. Um, I have two avocados and I am going to open those up okay then very carefully I'm going to get the seed out I didn't want those to go flying. I'll sit them down now. All right, and we're gonna take our avocado and we're just gonna use a spoon and we're gonna scoop it right into our bowl. Just like that. Okay, those are really good and uh, avocados. They're like perfect. The perfect texture the perfect ripeness. You know, it's really hard when you get avocados because it you never know. But I will tell you a little secret that I learned. Uh, I wish I'd have thought of this before um, I cut it, but the tip of the avocado, a lot of times when you look at them in the grocery store, you know, it's still there. And if you feel your avocado and it's kind of, you know, feels kind of a little soft, if you will pull that off and if that's still really pretty like a not a dull color but a bright color it doesn't have to be green but um that's a good sign that it's about the right you know texture you know doneness so um doesn't work every time but just like these i did that little trick and man these avocados are like perfect okay now i have this cool little tool that I don't even know what you call it. A dear sweet neighbor from years and years and years ago gave this to me and actually the way we first used it was strawberries. We used this to cut up our strawberries. She taught me how to do strawberry jam and she provided me with one of these cool little tools and this is the same one. I have had it since high school so you know, we're not going there, but I've had it a long time. And it works perfect because we don't like it to be like baby food. We kind of like a little bit of texture to our guacamole. Um, nothing wrong with that, liking it, you know, having it like baby food, but that's just not for us. So this does really well breaking it up. Now, if you don't have one of these, no problem. You can use a fork. You can use a potato masher, um, you know, a, the back of a spoon. There's all different kinds of ways you can break it up. I already cut up some onion, okay, uh, just to make it a little bit quicker. I have some onion diced up. We like to add onion to ours, quite a bit of onion. We love onion. And I'm going to try to do this with my left hand. I'm not good with my left hand but I'm gonna add some salt and some pepper, okay? And I made some fresh salsa. That 
that's what's in my jar here. Mmm, this is so good. Oh, I wish you could smell it, and better yet, I wish you could taste it. But I like to put a little bit of salsa. If you don't make it fresh, that's fine. You can just use bought jarred salsa. But I'm going to add a little bit of salsa into here. And, you know, I don't really measure it out. It's kind of different every time. So I'm just going to stir it up. And then we'll have any volunteers for taste testing. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> We'll have a taste tester. Do you need a chip or is the spoon okay? I need a chip. You need, he needs a chip. Okay. I kind of like to do it on a chip too. It's just something about it. Seems like it tastes different when you do it on a chip. Just like when I make salsa, I like to have a chip to dip it, you know, and, and taste test it. Okay. So, we, it's time. We need, I need a taste tester. The time, the time has, has come. The time has come. All right. Get you a big old bite so you can taste it. And let me know, does it need salt, pepper, salsa, onion? What does it need? I'm not sure. Uh, are you double dipping? No, I'm using a part that I didn't. <laughs> you didn't get me a chip? Sorry. I'm going to give you one. Maybe a little so, more salt. A little more salt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here it goes. Cheers. Mmm. You sure? It's good. Just a tad? Okay. <laughs> I think Mosley wants some. Little Mosley came in. He heard the crunching and he thinks he's supposed to get something to eat. just got the chicken out of the oven. It smells so good in here. I'm going to cut it into some chunks, uh, make it, you know, easier to put onto our potatoes, but it's all coming together. The veggies are almost done, and when they get out, we will be able to I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put our chicken on our platter because it just makes it easier when you assemble your potato if you have, you know, everything just kind of together. So that's what we're gonna do. I saved some room down there at the other end for our veggies. I'm gonna get our veggies now. Look how beautiful the vegetables turned out. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at all that. Woo. Oh man. This is going to be so good. Let me try to not get that foil. All right, we've got our onions. Let's see, I don't know if you can see those. There we go. We've got our onions going. They're just perfect. They're a little caramelized. Oh my gosh. They're tender and juicy. Now we're gonna do our mushrooms. Okay, put those on there. So not only is this dish so, so tasty, so, so fun, it's also beautiful. Look at this. Look at that platter, oh my goodness. Okay, now I'm gonna get the potatoes. Okay, we have the potatoes ready. Um, babe, you want me to just fix yours for you? I think I pretty much know how you like yours. Let's break that open. I trust you. Okay, wow. These are really hot. Okay, woo! I like to kind of cave it in just a little bit, but that is so hot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Let me, I got to scoop out a place to, there we go. Put your... Man, your potato kind of broke a little. That's okay. We might have a mess on our hands. I okay, what we're going to do... Up worse than that. <laughs> we're going to put some chicken. 
in there. Is that enough? Yes. Okay. Put some chicken on mine. All right, we're gonna do some mushrooms. Oh dear. Mushrooms. Now we're gonna do some peppers, red peppers, sweet peppers. Are those mushrooms any good? I don't know, you might better try it and see. Kind of smush it down in there. We're gonna do some of the onion. Wowie. Okay, now we have some toppings. All right, I'm going to, let's see, babe, do you want guacamole on yours? Sure. All right, let me get a spoon. We're going to put a little guacamole on here. Maybe we'll make it. Okay, babe, I'm going to lick my finger. <laughs> That's okay. And we're going to do some salsa. Right down the middle. Now the fun thing is going to be trying to eat this. <laughs> okay. Make sure you have plenty of napkins. All right. I'm going to do some sour cream right on the top. And then I'm going to put jalapenos on his, but I think I'm going to leave the jalapenos off of mine. Okay. Is that enough, babe, or you want more? I'll probably have to get some more, but I can get them. Okay. I'll just do one as to I make mine it, pretty. As I eat it down, I'll Gotcha. It. And then, now for the kicker. I'm going to pour some cheese sauce. I made this cheese sauce earlier. This is the easiest cheese sauce there is to make, okay? Um, it's so easy. Milk, a little bit of flour, some butter, and what else did I put? Oh, American cheese. But look at this cute little bowl. Oh my goodness gracious. Is that cute or what? It is darling. I love this. Um, and so, I'm going to use it to add a little bit of cheese on here. Instead of doing shredded cheese, I decided to go ahead and do a cheese sauce because it would just be easier, you know, to deal with on our potato. This is it. Oh my goodness. Look how beautiful. Woo. This is going to be delicious. We've come to the end again. And as always, I wish you could pull up a chair and you could sit down and eat this delicious meal with us. But you can't. But what you can do is you can make it and eat it in your kitchen at your table with your sweetie. The point is, you can do this. And don't forget, you can get this recipe at cookitfortwo.com. That's cookitfortwo.com, along with many, 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 many other recipes. As always, I hope that you picked up something that you're going to take to your kitchen, and it's going to make your meal time more fun, more tasty, um, all those good things. Lord bless you.